Hey everybody, this is a quick update video to the Onion Omega, uh, which I did the other day. Um, I had an email through from um, the um, Kickstarter campaign saying that the Onion console is here. Um, now before this wasn't available, um, but it's just been released, so I've just updated the firmware on this. Um, I didn't do that on camera unfortunately, so I can't show you that, uh, but it was really easy to do. Um, so I've just got this set up now so and all installed so I'm just going to show you the console and a, a few little issues that I've, uh, I've spotted as well so um, what I'll do I'll just quickly turn turn this on I've just got this running off a little USB power bank at the moment so power it on we'll let that boot up right that's booted up now so uh, what you can do is just go to a web browser and you can just go to the IP address of the Onion Omega on your own network. So log in, and this is the console. Um, so we have uh, four options here. Uh, we've got an editor, which is really more of a file browser kind of thing. You can actually go in and and edit, uh, edit files if you want to, but there's, I wouldn't really call it an editor yet. Um, the settings, um, now one thing I noticed uh, just after I set this up was the, the internal access point that the Union Omega has um, is enabled. Now the default is no security on the, um, the access point um, and there's uh, so that means there's no login required um, so that means if you have not changed your root password on your onion omega it means anybody can connect to the access point and uh, log into the uh, the console um, on your onion omega which given that it's probably also connected to your um, your normal wi-fi um, that is a really big issue. Um, so they probably need to change this to, uh, uh, as part of the setup process, to make sure that you change the uh, root password from um, Onioneer um, to uh, something which is more personal, because um, that's uh, that's a big issue. Um, also, the access point security should also be set up as part of that process as well. But anyway, that aside. So you can also update the uh, the firmware here as well and do a factory reset if you want. We go back to uh, that. We've got um, status, which is some really basic status information on the uh, Omega. And we have a terminal, which makes things a little bit easier. So one of the first things I wanted to do with it was to at least get like a, a blinking LED or some kind of output from it. I was reading on the um, the help desk, and it's got the pinouts, and it also mentions about using the GPIO lines, um, using the command line called pass GPIO. Um, so the first thing I did was try that, but unfortunately, it's not found. Uh, it's not there, so you can't use any of that. Um, so that's obviously broken. Um, but what I did find. was a command called GPIO CTL uh, which does seem to uh, to actually uh, allow you to set things so what I can actually do here if I go back to my Omega now I've um, I've got two jumper wires here so I'm going to connect into GPIO 0 connect up the ground So I've just got this connected up to my multimeter. So if I do um, GPIO CTL DIR out dash high port zero, my multimeter is now reading 2.6 volts. Now if I uh, reverse that and um, and do day R out low zero it goes back. So I, we do have some control over the I.O. Um, 
Now, um, the other thing that I uh, noticed on the help desk is a command called um, exp led, which allows you to control the the color of the lead on the dock. At the moment, it's sort of a cyan a cyan color, uh, and use the command um, exp led to control that. So this is where we're, there's um, a slight issue. Uh, exp led. So it uh, that runs fine. Um, but if you do XP LED and then give it a hex value, so 0x, we'll try and turn it off. Uh, uh, that doesn't work because uh, we just get uh, fast GPIO not found, which is uh, as I mentioned earlier. So for those people that uh, are waiting for that Onion Omega, um, it's, uh, I wouldn't get too excited because it doesn't really do much yet. Um, the console is pretty, uh, pretty limited. Um, there's no app store. Um, there's none of the, uh, the items that were shown on the, uh, the mock-up that's on the website. Okay, well, hopefully um, over the coming days, weeks, months, etc., um, things will improve and um, I can actually start uh, sitting down and actually learning how to write some software for this thing. Right, thanks for watching. See you later.